Dear students, welcome to the session on procedure for non-zero initial velocity problems. Those who don't watch the basic ideas on one-dimensional wave equation as well as procedure for zero initial velocity problems, go to the playlist, watch those videos and come back to this video. It will be more convenient for you. Let us go into the procedure for non-zero initial velocity problems. So, once you identify the problem is non-zero initial velocity, as like I said in the previous video, we are going to follow the same step, only the initial conditions are going to change. So, step 1, we have to draw the diagram and whatever the length is given to us, you don't want to worry, just assume it as L, whether 30 or 50 or 5 or even if they give 2L, something like this, assume it as L and it is easy for you to solve with one procedure. Since my length is L, I am going to take x equal to 0 to L, my two ends are A and B. Now the displacement is y of x comma t, so I can write the conditions both the ends, the displacement is 0. Now step 1 get over. Step 2, we are going to write the 1D wave equation. That is nothing but y double t is equal to a square y double x. We know that a square is equal to t by m where t is the tension, m is the mass per unit length. When I want to go for step 3, I have to write the most suitable solution. But we know there are three possible solutions for wave equations. But we don't want to write in the exams. This is for your understanding. I am writing here and it is helpful for your MCQs. So, step 3, I am writing the most suitable solution that is A cos lambda x plus B sin lambda x into C cos lambda a t plus D sin lambda a t. I am going to take it as equation 1. An obvious now would have guessed what is step 4. Next step 4, we are going to write the boundary and initial conditions. As like the zero boundary problems, the first two boundary conditions will never change. Only the initial conditions are going to change. Since the problem has non-zero initial velocity, as I said, when you write the four boundary conditions, always the fourth boundary condition should be non-zero. All the remaining boundary conditions should be zero. Since the problem is saying that initial velocity is non-zero, that is some f of x, so it is going to be condition 4. When the velocity is non-zero, then my displacement is going to be zero. This is the third and fourth condition for the non-zero initial velocity problem. Now, we have to start the problem. Actually, this is the answer. My aim is to find the value of the constants a, b, c, d and lambda. I want to find this five unknown data from equation 1 to give the final solution. For this, for this I have two boundary conditions and two initial conditions. Let us do one by one. So, here after the whole problem, if I do apply, I am going to get one data. Then, take the data and substitute in the nearest equation, we will be getting a new equation. Now, if I am substituting the value in 1, immediately the next data should be equation 2. Let us go into the problem. Step 1. Apply 1 in 1. My first boundary condition is 0, t equal to 0. If I apply like this, I know cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0. Rewriting this, my LHS is also 0. Now, we get like this. Do you remember students, if x into y is 0, we have three chances. Either x is 0 or y is 0 or both x and y are 0. Here, both cannot be 0. If both are 0, then my equation 1 is 0. That is not possible. So, any one of them is going to be 0. Now, you see c cos lambda a t plus d sin lambda a t is not equal to 0. Why? If this is 0, what would happen? My displacement y of x comma t will also become 0. So, that is not possible. Therefore, c into cos lambda a t plus d sin lambda a t cannot be 0. The only option is a equal to 0. So, when I apply, I get one data. Now, substitute a equal to 0 in 1. When you substitute, the next equation is going to be equation 2. When I substitute a equal to 0 in 1, I will be getting this equation. Name this as 2. Again, we have to do the same procedure. Apply 
2 into my second boundary condition is y of l comma t is equal to 0. Now if I apply this, I will be getting 0 is equal to b sin lambda l. This term remains constant. Again, the same story. C into cos lambda a t plus d into sin lambda a t cannot be 0. So I have two chances. Either b should be 0 or sin lambda l equal to 0. Now see this equation 1. Already we proved a equal to 0. If now I take b is also 0, then this whole part will become 0. 0 into anything is 0. So b cannot be 0. So the only chance is sin lambda l is equal to 0. And we know that sin n pi is equal to 0 when n belong to any integer. Therefore, equating this to, I will be getting sin lambda l is equal to sin n pi. Sin sin will get cancelled. We will be getting lambda l is equal to n pi. Finally, lambda equal to n pi by l. Now you see, I apply the condition, I get a new data. So substitute this lambda in 2 to get a new equation 3. So substitute the lambda value in 2. We are going to get the following equation. I am going to take this as 3. Next, once we get equation 3, as usual, we are going to substitute 3 in 3. My third condition is y of x comma 0 is equal to 0. So apply 3 in 3. We will be getting this. Cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0. We will be getting b into c sin n pi x by l. Here we see b cannot be 0. Already we found a equal to 0. If we take b is also 0, then my displacement will become 0. So, this is not possible. b should be non-zero. Next, sin n pi x by l is not equal to 0 because in the previous step, we find sin lambda l equal to 0. From that only we find the lambda value. So, that is also not 0. Obviously, we have only one chance that is c equal to 0. Now, substitute c equal to 0 in 3. Once you sub substitute c equal to 0 in 3, we will be getting y of x comma t is equal to b sin n pi x by l. Since c equal to 0, we will be getting d sin n pi a t by L. Now, as I said before you go to the equation 4, it should be a most general solution. So, I am going to take this capital BD as capital BN. In zero velocity problem, we take small bn. Here we are going to take it as capital BN. You can understand why I am doing like this in the forecoming steps. So, therefore, I am writing the most general solution as my equation 4. Next, we are going to apply 4 in 4. But my fourth condition is yt of x comma 0 is equal to f of x. So, this is the derivative of y. As usual, what we did in the zero initial velocity problem, the same thing. I am going to differentiate 4 partially with respect to t to get yt of x comma t. Then I can apply the fourth condition. Differentiating equation 4, we will get n equal to 1 to infinity. Bn is constant. Sin n pi x by l is constant. Since we are differentiating partially with respect to t, then sin differentiation is cos n pi a t by l and the constant is n pi a by l. Now, if you take this as equation 4 star, apply 4 in 4 star, we are going to see this cos 0. Cos 0 is going to be 1. Now, I can write like this. Since yt of x comma 0 is f of x, this is my final data. Now, you see capital BN is one constant and n pi a by l is another constant. So, I am going to take this as small bn. My small bn is going to be capital BN into n pi a by l. If I rewrite this equation like this, it looks like my half-range Fourier sine series. Therefore, if we found small bn, then if you multiply this small bn with l by n pi a, I will be getting capital BN. Substitute this capital BN in equation 4 to complete the solution. So, as we shall, BN can be found from the formula 
டூ பை எல் இன்டெகிரல் ஜீரோ டு எல் எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் சைன் என் பை எக்ஸ் பை எல் டிஎக்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் யூ ஃபவுண்ட் திஸ் சப்ஸ்டியூட் திஸ் பி என் வேல்யூ இன் கேபிட்டல் பி என் டு கெட் தி கேபிட்டல் பி என் வேல்யூ Now finally substitute capital B N in 4 to get the final answer. Hope you understand how to solve the procedure for non-zero initial velocity problems on wave equation. Thank you. In the next video series, we are going to see how to solve the problems on zero velocity as well as non-zero velocity in wave equations. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. If you have any queries, post in the comment box. We are there to help you. See you. Bye-bye.